Before we start looking at the specifics of the GitHub project management tools, I'd like to take a few moments to talk about a way that we can think about the process of solving problems and how that process is related to the project management tools and version control in GitHub in general. If we have some improvement that we want to make in a document, could be code or any other kind of document, we usually can break that improvement or feature down into a number of particular problems that have to be solved before the improvement can be made. It is helpful to associate each particular problem that needs to be solved with what we call an issue in the issue tracker. A set of issues that are related to each other and that are all involved in creating this new feature or improvement we can call a milestone. So a milestone is a set of grouped issues. Now we can use the issue tracker features on any set of problems but in general, because GitHub is designed around version control of documents, these two features of the issue tracker can also be thought of as corresponding with features of the version control system built into GitHub. So, for example, you can think of each issue as being solved by a commit. So when you have resolved an issue, you make a commit. And when you've completed a set of commits that are able to implement the new feature or improvement, then you could think of that as the time to create a new release of the document or the software. Sometimes the particular problem to be solved is more complex. In that case, it's sometimes convenient to break that problem into separate tasks and the issue tracker has a feature built into it called checkboxes that allow you to break up the issue into smaller tasks that must be completed before the particular problem is solved. Each of those tasks can result in their own commit, particularly if they involve enough changes that you might need to roll them back. <laughs> 